Not your lucky day. Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? Been wondering, how's your hand, your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Hmm, maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. Look what I picked up. Come on, we have to decompress him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. In Alan Dwana are ice. Who are you? What am I doing here? It's a pond. <laughs> Who are you? What's the last thing you remember? I remember a hill. A battle. I had orders for a unit. I remember a sorceress. Her hair like flames. She cast a spell. The right flank was to attack. Hit the shield bearers. The right flank didn't attack. And the sorceress was Lydda Nade, known also as Coral. I was there too. This... This happened long ago. She said it. You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. 
She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. What's he doing here? Lots of blue jerkins. Interesting. Kids are rank. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Want to talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise him. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. <laughs> Want from you. I've no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel Bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? 
She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of life. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son is the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's got the win. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen. But since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him, Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vogelbud fears the Alps being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire. Knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Right? We have to prepare, change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Eliel's shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If
so long. certainly took my request to heart. I mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbutt's guests. Your invitation, please. All is in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbutt in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Must be some mistake. You know why we're here, don't you? Of course. But I've orders to make certain every guest enters the estate unarmed. Damn it. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Well, come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Hello. Where will I find another no, baronet? Tell you don't know. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that baronet would 
something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. Oh, come on! What? Nothing happened. Not finding work here, you know. With the eternal fire burning and all that. Radovid's not a whit better than a near. It might even be worse. <laughs> Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Yet another night for that whore. Uh. On a clear day, you can see no guard banners from the city walls. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Miracle. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. I'll tell you the story later. Oh, let's look around. They are house assigned to the emergency. Others claim the tank. This is dumb. Is it in case the first part of the Set down. On a clear day, you see no guard back. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated this place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it.
One more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Sili. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomu has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it. more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zuglebone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Let's do it.
Lovely lady, clearly Is with you luck, sir. Hold her, keep her, never let her go. Time to invest in movies. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff? Just a moment ago. Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia. So, oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoth, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard banished from the city wall. Hard finding work here, you know. With the eternal fire burning, you know. Right? Sold him off. Stuck him right in the bottom. Well, stand out. I'm not just some old Behave yourself, do what you must, but behave. My husband is super Me, she's right. Stop. A second chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all! How do you recognize me? Your voice, unmistakable. Oh yes, those famous Witcher senses. Finally getting some use out of them. And who's this creature with you? May I be introduced? Hey, Reuben. It can't be! Is that the lovely warble of my favorite accomplice? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. She wore a turkey mask to the last ball. Can you imagine? Oh, she should not remember. Mother says that... uh, excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man, like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. 
all has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the Guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? Oh, unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. You'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. Vagal bud an old stick in the mud. Yet here she's hired a male stripper. But why did he come to the woman? Perhaps in she hands him his props. Well? Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. 
Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Yet another night for that whore. None of this family of little luck. Scar and Vagel, but died young. Do you think the women are very I can't be so. Don't listen to that. Radovich stands for stability. He's a wonderful man, really. But something about My, is he ever sought him? Time to invest in movies. Well, care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seems just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than as leader. See, but you're the one organizing the Mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. You're a charismatic leader, simple as that. You really think so? Absolutely. Next thing you know, they'll be calling you Iron Marigold. Could even wear an eye patch and it'd look right. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought you were being sincere. Of course I'm being sincere. Look at me. Didn't blush a bit. <laughs> Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely... Entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> Come on, Geralt! Tris, wait! Geralt! Coming? Careful.
Miss Merigold, at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. circumstances I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelwood. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Hmm, doubt it. Begin to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Uh, 
Glad I could help you collect it. You'll find a good use for it. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? It was my fault, I know, the, the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Triss, don't apologize. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs>